the old lion and the fox. The lion lay old and weak in his den and was no longer able to go hunting by himself. He would have perished miserably, but in his distress he had the news of his imminent death spread throughout his kingdom and ordered all of his subjects to come to the royal court. He wished to say goodbye to everyone personally. One after the other, the animals arrived in front of the lion's den. And the king of the beasts called everyone to him. With small gifts, they went into him one by one. But they all hoped for great advantage. A wily fox had spent some time near the den watching their coming. Strange, she thought. All the animals go into the cave, but no one returns from it. Although the king's castle is spacious, it is not so big that it can accommodate all the subjects. Actually, it should have been overcrowded long ago. Cautiously, the fox stepped in front of the entrance and politely called out, King, I wish you eternal health and a good evening. Ah, red fur, you are very late, bone the lion, as if he really were already on his last legs. If you had hesitated one day longer, he would have met only a dead king. Be welcome to me anyway, and lighten my last hours with your cheerful stories. Uh, are you alone then? inquired the fox, with feigned astonishment. The lion answered grimly, So far some of my subjects have come. But they have all bored me, so I have sent them away again. But you, Redfur, are funny, and always full of clever ideas. Come closer, I command you. Noble king, spoke the fox humbly, you present me with a difficult riddle. The countless tracks in the sand lead into your castle, but not a single one leads out again, and your fortress has only one entrance. My lord, you are too clever for me. I do not want to offend you with my stupidity, and I would rather go away again. But one thing I will do for you. I will keep this riddle to myself. The fox took his leave and left the lion alone.